What you're hearing right now are known as periodical cicadas flying insects that spend most of their life underground. They feed on plant juices and they come out periodically to fly, date, mate, and die. What makes this year kind of unique as far as brood emergences for periodical cicadas is we have two that are coming out in the same year, which is abnormal because 13 and 17 are prime numbers and so it's hard to get them coming out on the same year. We're going to have an emergence of 13 year cicadas. This is an event that's been 221 years since the last time this has happened and to put that into perspective, not only was Thomas Jefferson president, but we were sealing the deal on the Louisiana Purchase that year. The ones that you hear close are male cicadas that are either individuals or just two or three that are calling locally to us here. The overtone kind of higher pitch in the background, those are aggregation areas where males have all come to one typically large tree and they are calling synchronously so that they can broadcast that sound out as far as possible to draw in receptive females. These are the three species of periodical cicada you can find in Northwest Arkansas. I can see a long line right here which indicates a sheath what looks like a stinger like device that she'll jab into a young tree and lay eggs into the wood of the tree they like young trees because they like the softer sap wood to be able to lay those eggs into. And what we're seeing mostly on the trunks of these young trees are either females that haven't mated yet and are waiting to go to those males, or they're females that have already mated, and now they're here where they're gonna lay their eggs waiting for the cover of darkness. You also see wildlife really getting a pulse of nutrition from these cicadas as they come out of the ground. They've been feeding on roots for 13 or 17 years, and now they're bringing up fresh, fat and protein for all those predators and scavengers.